Hi and welcome to another, actually the last video for Terra October. And today I want to talk about my journey to self-worth and self-love. Throughout this month, I've been uploading videos on shadow work, self-love and how tarot can help you get a better understanding of yourself as well as the darker parts of tarot, misconceptions, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to end Tarot October by sharing a little bit about my own story. I have actually already thought this through, written it down. So if you see me looking to the side right here, I'm just I'm trying to say everything. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. Uh, I might end up um, cutting out half of what I film uh, in editing, but I really just wanted to sit down and talk about something personal, uh, my personal journey to self-worth and self-love. But before we get into the story, I want to say uh, a few things. First of all, thank you so much for anybody who has been watching Terror October and who is watching this uh, very personal video. It, it was really fun to do Terror October and I would love to do it again uh, next year. Um, so yeah, just thank you to anybody who watched any video of Terror October. And the second thing that I wanted to say was um, I wanted to preface, preface, preface that um, I am definitely not at the end of my self-worth, self-love journey. Uh, I still have a way to go, which I will talk about, uh, but I do, I have already come a long way and that is what I wanted to share. So I feel like whenever you talk about something personal, you kind of need to go back to their childhood. So let's get back to mine. I was born on August 7th, 1993 in the Netherlands and I grew up in a house with both of my parents and my little brother who was two years younger than me. Uh, I was pretty privileged. Um, I didn't have uh, to struggle a whole lot, at least not really more than any other kids my age in my neighborhood. And uh, But that being said, I, I was kind of like a little bit of a weird kid. I didn't really have many friends and I was bullied a lot. So I did second grade twice. First of all, because I was horrible at math, like horrible at math, but also because I didn't have any friends um, and I was in, in that particular class. And I was bullied so much that I still remember coming home with bruises, like on my legs, on my ankles and stuff. Um, anyway, in Dutch school, elementary school goes till sixth grade and then you go to high school. So these high schools are split into different levels. So everybody can study and go to school at their own level. So after sixth grade, like your class, like splits on all to all these different schools. So I went to a school um, where again, I didn't have many friends, um, not in my own class anyway. And I remember the guys being so mean to me, uh, the guys of my um, like, most of the guys in my grade year would call me names and some of which I still remember which they, what, what they are, what they were. And at the end of the school year, I decided that I wanted to switch schools, so I did. I knew pretty much nobody <laughs> at this school and it was awesome. So for the first time in my life, I had a friend group and we were all trying to be like all emo and stuff and alternative. Uh, but it was the first time in my life that I was not bullied. Um, of course, kids would still be mean to me or to my friends, but we would all have each other's backs and that felt so great. As many of you know, going to high school means that you kind of start dating and perhaps having a first kiss um, and all that stuff. So I was 14 and I started dating some boys and over the years, I really, like this is thinking back, but I really started to measure my self-worth to whether or not I was in a relationship. Uh, around the time I was 16, 17, I started getting really depressed about where my life was headed and what I wanted to do with my life. And it all sort of started to go downhill from there. So for my 18th till I think like my 22nd, I did things that I'm not proud of. Um, I did try like to prove myself to people who only wanted to take advantage of me. I fell for the wrong people, um, gave myself to the wrong people and my self-worth took a huge hit. I was so convinced, I had myself so convinced that I needed to have a boyfriend in order to be worth something. 
I was not happy being single at all and I literally drove myself crazy when it came to getting a relationship. I would get panic attacks and so depressed that I couldn't get out of bed if anything went wrong. Luckily, I was able to get into therapy uh, and that was really the start of my self-worth journey, like going up. Uh, I learned how to think more rationally, how to take a step back and look at things from a different perspective. I was able to calm myself down and since leaving therapy I've only had like a few panic attacks but it's now been years since my last one. The last guy I dated before I met my current boyfriend was really bad for me too. Um, I jumped through hoops to get his attention but I always got the feeling that he just sort of kept me on his back burner in case he could find somebody better. Um, and then one day I just sort of realized that I did not need his validation to feel good about myself. So I was finally done. I don't know, sometimes you just wake up with this feeling. I just, that, that's what happened to me. Um, I was finally done chasing after this dude and I was ready to start living for me. And I had a lot going for me with my graduation right around the corner and I had an amazing best friend at my side. So that night, we had, like that same night, we went out. Uh, I got absolutely hammered drunk. And I hit on the bartender, got his number, and now we've been together for pretty much six years. And it is the happiest and healthiest relationship that I've ever been in. That being said, it's not as if all my self-worth was just fixed as soon as I started dating my current boyfriend. Uh, I was still in therapy, I got overworked at my internship that I needed to have in order to be able to graduate, um, and my best friend kind of left me because she was afraid that I would leave her for my boyfriend, so she decided to leave before I even could, which I never intended to do, of course. Uh, however, the best thing that happened for my self-worth was being with a person who doesn't challenge my self-worth. For the first time in my life, I was with someone who didn't question whether or not I was good enough for them. Um, and I personally always felt good enough for them. It just felt like it was meant to be. Over the last few years, I have definitely struggled with my self-worth because even though I no longer was connecting my self-worth to my relationship status, I was now connecting my self-worth to my career and what I was doing with my life. So after graduating from my journalism study and getting overwhelmed at the internship, I decided journalism wasn't for me. So instead I did a course on being a life coach. Um, it took me a little bit, but I am in fact a certified life coach. So that is something that can always fall back on as is my journalism degree. It was at that same time that my boyfriend and I both decided to become teachers. Um, so we started our study the same year at the same school, uh, but in different classes because we wanted to make our own friends first. Oh my God, can being a teacher or trying to become a teacher challenge your self-worth? Nothing has ever felt as confronting as standing in front of 36 year olds and trying to learn to teach them how to read. I have cried so many times trying to get my diploma, thinking I wasn't good enough to be a teacher, thinking that the way that I teach um, wasn't good enough or sucks, or asking myself over and over again why they just won't listen and do their work instead of challenging me on every little thing. I had to learn that that is just how the kids are <laughs> um, and I needed to be strong enough, uh, I needed to be a strong enough person to stand there and be confident in my decisions and that's sort of what I decided to do this school year. Last school year, I taught sixth grade and it was so hard. I came home devastated every day that I had to teach. And I think I literally had a peak in self-worth when I decided to quit that job and choose my happiness over my job and over my study. Um, it kind of sucked because I was out of a job and I was gonna have to delay my study, but it was so worth it. In my time off, I was able to have time for myself, to work on myself, to work on being happy with myself, and I was proud of the decision that I made. It was definitely not an easy one because I loved the kids that I taught, uh, but it wasn't a good or healthy situation for me, so I had to choose myself. This school year, I started teaching second grade um, at a different school in a different city, and it has been so rewarding. 
um, I feel more confident, I have fun and I know that I'm gonna be able to graduate in February, March and I'll have so many options in front of me. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I am not at the end of my journey at all. <laughs> like less than three weeks ago, I sat crying in an office at the school where I'm not right now because I got the feedback of one of my own teachers that he thought I was not connecting with the kids uh, in my class. So I had to take a good hard look at me, at what I was doing, and I decided that he had caught me on an off day. I was almost like, I was very much getting sick um, and I was extremely nervous that my own teacher was gonna come visit and the lesson that I taught, what he saw did not represent how I usually teach. Um, if that had, this had happened like a few years ago, I would have quit my study. I would have gone on to something else. Um, but now I know that I am good enough and I am able to let negatively construed feedback roll off my back. Of course, I'm not perfect and there's definitely things that I still have to uh, grow in and that I can get better at regarding my teacher teaching. Uh, but I also know my talents and I know what I'm good at and I know my worth, even if sometimes it takes me a little while um, to realize it. I hope you found my story, I don't know, entertaining or interesting in some way. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and if anything from my story resonated with you. And in the last year that I have started my spiritual journal and started reading the tarot, I have learned so much about myself, about my path, um, and it has helped me to calm down about my destiny because I realize it's not all set in stone and my decision, my wants, my talents make up my path and make up where I want to go and what I want to do with my own life. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you will check out my other Terror October videos. And if you've gotten this far in the video, I would absolutely love it if you could uh, give this video a like, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment letting me know what kind of self-worth, self-love content you would like to see from me. Uh, I love doing self-love related pick a card readings, so I definitely will be doing more of those. Uh, but if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the link in the description box below. And if you want to see more pick a card readings, again, I do them all the time and just anything tarot related, I do that all the time. So subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you here. For now, I just want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.